There was a king named King Athamas, and he didn't get along with his first wife, Nepheli, so he divorced her and married Princess Ina. Nepheli had two children, a boy named Phrixus and his twin sister, Heli. Phrixus was heir to the kingdom. However, Queen Ino had a son as well who she wanted to be heir to the throne. The only way for that to happen was to have Phrixus killed. So Queen Ino devised a plan. She caused a famine in the land by stealing all the seed corn. The king sent a messenger to talk to the oracle to find out what to do. But Queen Ino intercepted the messenger and convinced or more likely bribed him to say that the only way to solve the famine was to sacrifice the king's son, Phrixus. The people of the land were starving and desperate, so they begged the king to sacrifice the boy in order to end the famine. The king gave in and made plans for the sacrifice at the altar. Just before Phrixus was killed, a golden ram sent by Hermes to prevent the sac sacrifice from taking place took Phrixus and Heli away. The twins flew on the ram's back over the strait that separated Europe and Asia. Heli slipped off the ram and fell into the water and drowned. The strait was later named the Hellespont, or the Sea of Heli. Phrixus continued flying on the back of the golden ram until he came upon Colchis, a faraway kingdom. The Colchians were normally fierce people, but were kind to Phrixus. He met the king of Colchis, King Aetes. The king was kind enough to let Phrixus marry his daughter. In order to thank the gods, Phrixus had to sacrifice the golden ram that had saved him, which he thought was strange. He gave the golden fleece to King Aetes. <laughs>